guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the Collective of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, Cross Watchers. And if you're brand new to the channel, happy you landed here. I am going to kick off with a card from Gateway of Light, Activation Oracle. Let's see what energy is coming through. Do keep in mind it's a general reading, not a private personal reading, so it may not resonate for everyone. Take what speaks to you, leave the rest. I do offer private readings. The link is always below, so just have to scroll a little bit and it will take you to the booking page. Here we go. For Aquarius. Anunnaki light codes, an energetic shift, new information, end of a cycle. Anunnaki light codes coming through, end of a cycle. I like that for sure, especially because we just came through some eclipse energy. Um, so the energetic shift in new information makes sense. And I love the end of a cycle. We do have the um, full moon in Aries coming up. That may bring a lot of new energy as well for you. Uh, do also keep in mind that when I pull this spread, energies can come through reverse. So essentially I could be speaking directly to a cross watcher. I'm going to pull the main spread and give you my general impressions. Then I go back through with clarifiers for the details. Here we go. Aquarius. Hmm. So the overall energy, nine of cups, maybe looking for some wish fulfillment, some sense of emotional self-satisfaction. Ooh, chariot. Okay. So let me, let me self-correct. When we have the chariot as what's crossing you, that's talking about forward motion, making progress. So if there's a challenge there, it could be that in your connection, there's some kind of complacency, right? Maybe one of you is prepared for to make some progress, move forward, and someone else is like, nah, this feels good to me. I'm good right where we are. Um, that has been a theme throughout this whole series of readings and you're second to last in the Zodiac. So join the club, right? Mm-hmm. In the root here of the situation, Empress. So I feel like I'm talking to a divine feminine who is in a struggle with where this thing is headed. Um, where's the progress? Where's the forward motion? In the past, Page of Cups, some kind of message from the heart, something sincere, or maybe a lack thereof. Um, in, in your conscious awareness, we have another page, Page of Swords, looking for some information, some clarity, something to be revealed. The Page of Swords, Spire Detective of the Tarot, rooting out some information, perhaps curiosity as well. And in the near future, Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands will be that, um, that uh, divine gift of inspired passion to kind of kick things into gear. Hmm. I will say, and it's not too late. We're only at the midpoint of the month, guys. I do a monthly Love Tarot Energy update at the beginning of every month. And what I do is, yeah, I do some Oracle and I also do the tarot reading, but then I do the astrology for the month week by week by week so that you can kind of look at the tarot as it comes through as well as the, <coughs> pardon me, astrology um, and use it as a reference point throughout the month. And what it seemed to me, so go back and watch it, is that by the end of the month of October, everything sort of kind of levels out. So there are little highs, lows, highs, lows, bumps, and smooth points throughout the month, energetically speaking, of course. But then things sort of kind of find their way to um, a sense of calm or to the forward motion or to whatever it is that's problematic, we get to some sense of resolve by the end of the month. So what I'm looking at here is what are we up to? What's happening? Why are things not moving? Why is there no progress in? And, but by the end of the month, we get that burst. Okay. So check that out. It's on, it's right there. It's on the channel. Um, yeah, it might have a message for you is what I'm saying. All right. Nine of cups and the chariot. 
Ten of Swords, Page of Swords, Three of Pentacles. So, Ten of Swords, right? We talk about end of a cycle here, the end of a painful cycle, and almost like what's next. And so someone is just kind of hanging out, right? Someone's hanging out, but there's this energy that I think is coming from the Divine Feminine wanting to know where are we headed? Are we on the same page? Do, am I having your cooperation? So I feel like the Ten of Swords isn't happening now. I think it already happened. I think something went down. It could be recent. It could be a while ago. We did just come through eclipse season. And a lot of times there are some real painful things that kind of close out real sudden. Um, but now we're left to wonder. We're left to wonder where are we headed. So, and that's why that's in your conscious awareness. That's the thing that you're most curious about at this moment. Where are we headed? And are we both invested? Are we kind of on the same page? Are we seeing it the same way? So let's see the Empress. Right. Yeah, I love when you guys are so like, yep, I'm giving it to you right now, Laura. Sure. Am I going to get some vulnerability from you? Are you coming in with some offer of love or are we still duking it out here? Is there still more tension? Is there still more conflict to be resolved? Or can we move forward, chariot again? Are we getting past it? So, right, that at the root of it, you're, you're sort of... I feel like I'm talking to the divine feminine. Whoever's watching, that's the energy it does. It's not a male female thing. I'm I'm pulling from divine feminine energy. Something that's open, something that's mature, something that's, you know, um wanting to nurture this connection to get beyond something that yeah, laid you both out to some degree. And there's someone here that's sort of like kind of going, "Yeah, nope, I'm good." I'm good. And then there's this energy of like, okay, that's nice, but are we still sort of working this through? Are we still on the same page? Are we, the three of pentacles can be a card of friendship. Just so you know, stick a pin in that. But I'm seeing a divine feminine that's really interested in um, how we get to that victory, how, right, it's a card of victory, of triumph, of overcoming something. It's different than the strength card. It's like, like in this deck, vroom, vroom, here we go. Uh, we're motoring through, we're moving forward. We're, we're winning this. We know, we know we hit a major snag, but we, we team up here. We, we, um, find our way past it. But it requires some vulnerability. It requires coming from the heart. It requires um, some truth being brought into the situation, some clarity, double hit of that Page of Swords. So let's see the Page of Cups in the past. Definitely communication. Uh, and I feel almost like it was two ways and that it was honest. Like, yeah, I'm, there's resistance, there's defensiveness, but some form of communication. I'm not sure it was an apology, but I'm pretty sure whatever was going both ways was honest, was from the heart, was sincere, um, not intended to hurt feelings. It might have a little bit since there was maybe some self-protective energy floating around, but yet underneath it all was that looking out on the horizon toward what's coming our way next, which is why that chariot figures so prominently, because what's coming next is how do we get beyond it? Or can we get beyond it? First is can we? right? Page of Swords. I'm curious to know. And then how do we? Here's the how do we. 
We have to receive this ace from spirit. Page of Swords, Conscious Awareness. So here is where our Empress is sort of kind of downshifting a little bit. Uh, Nine of Pentacles, which I always see as sort of pre-Empress energy, um, downshifting, sort of on your own here, really looking for some clues, really looking for some information. And that Two of Wands is sort of like, yeah, now what's the what are the paths before us? In a world of possibilities, what do I want? So you're kind of now in your conscious awareness because this is at the root of it, right? But in your conscious awareness, it's like, now what do I want? What do I really want? And what path's going to get me there? And what do I need to know to help me decide? And oh boy, right? With that moon coming from the bottom of the deck, and for those of you who are new who may not realize what I'm doing when I'm pulling from the bottom of the deck, I'm tapping into something you can't see because it's either unconscious awareness within you or it's playing out behind the scenes. Either way, you can't see it. But it factors in to some degree, right? And it's helpful to know. And so in this case, it's, it's a little triggering. It's a little unnerving because you can't see it. And on some level, you're curious about it. And so it gives you that little bit of like uncertainty but on another level, it requires you to trust your intuition and not operate from fear. You know you've done it before, you've made choices and decisions before, and it's about what does your intuition tell you is the best path forward. And then what happens is a miraculous thing, the universe says, well, be inspired. What lights you up? What, what do you think is best? Because we have wands here. It's about your desires. It's about your passions. It's about what motivates you, drives you. What do you think is best in this situation? And you both have to kind of grab it from spirit. Spirit saying, here, I'm giving you the go sign. And it's an opportunity to reignite the torch of passion in this connection, or not. Or to take yourself in a whole new direction. So let's see the Ace of Wands in the near future for you. Yeah, it's going to be a little unnerving. Of course it is, right? In unconscious awareness, you're both going to be a little unsettled. What's up? What's happening? What's happening? What, you know, because you, you don't know what to expect from the other. And that word, expect, ugh. It messes with us all the time. But if you come from soul instead of the human part, I once had a, uh, I took a course and somebody once said, um, we're just souls in a meat suit. <laughs> I thought, Ugh. but then I thought, yeah. It explained Lady Gaga's costume one year, the meat suit, right? But there it is, reconciliation, a cause for celebration. Here comes the apology that maybe went a little rough in the past. And maybe the conversation was sincere, but maybe we didn't get to the, you know, my bad, I'm sorry. I don't know what this was all about, but we get to it now. We get another shot at it, another bite at the apple. Spirit says, can you hear me now? Can you feel me now? Do you want it now? And the answer is probably a big fat yes. If you can get out of your own way um, and not operate from fear and anxiety and worry and just come from your authenticity of how you feel. So that's what I see in the near future. Provided you trust your intuition and don't let this, you know, um, take over. In, in a negative sense, in a lower vibration. Okay, so that's what I have for this part of it. I do feel that we're speaking about somebody who has really captured your heart and who you feel has it within them um, to, to be cooperative, to be invested, to get up out of some complacency and to make moves that progress the relationship. So that's who we're going to look at in the extended. The links are below. You have options one, two, and three. Please understand option one is a monthly renewal. So you get the Aquarius on a loop every month. 
um, option two is just this extended, all right? So that's what we're gonna do in the extended. We're gonna look at this person and how they are sizing up this connection, how they are seeing you or thinking about you or feeling about you and then their intentions. Because I got a snapshot into your energy. Let's see theirs. That's what that's for. All right. So before I give you the astrology, if this has been illuminating, if you've been enjoying my readings or just this one and you have not done so, please subscribe below. That is the only way I can stay on this platform and continue to, I don't know, bring you messages, help, help you navigate the twists and turns of your connections. That's what I'm here for. And um, stay tuned because there will be some changes coming to the channel. So when you see a video that says channel update, you're going to want to watch it because there will be changes. Um, I'm trying to stay alive here and things aren't working. So heads up. Uh, yeah. So that's what I have for you. Here we go. We have the chariot out twice. That is Cancerian energy. The Page of Swords is out twice. That is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Empress is Venus, Taurus, and Libra. Knight of Cups is Pisces. Uh, oh, already said that. Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, Virgo in our Nine of Pentacles. The Moon is more Pisces. And the Page of Cups actually came out twice. So we have a lot of duplicates here. And then, of course, your Anunnaki light codes, the energetic shift, the new information, and the end of a cycle. So I'm headed to the extended. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.